Fulton County's district attorney announced today they're making progress in indicting murder suspects and accused sex offenders. They're coping with the same delays that Bibb County's district attorney talked about recently, but Fulton DA Fawny Willis vowed that she won't let any of those suspects back on the street. Kayla Solomon listened in on that news conference and worked to get answers locally. Kayla joins us live tonight in studio. Frank, at the beginning of September, we learned that nine murder suspects here in Macon Bibb County would be eligible for bond. That's because they were not indicted within the 90 days deadline set under state law. But just up the road, Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Wallace announced today that they're on track to indict 300 murder suspects this year. I'm happy to announce not one individual in Fulton County will be released charged with the crime of homicide because a lawyer or an investigator failed to work up the case and failed to get it indicted timely. In a Wednesday morning press conference, Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis announced that her team has been working around the clock since March. Their goal, to make sure homicide suspects are indicted within the 90-day window. In 2019, over a 12-month period, 156 defendants were indicted for the crime of murder. Due to the team that stands behind me now, this year alone, in seven months, because that's how long we've had to run grand jury, we have already indicted 193 murder defendants. Here in Macon Bibb County, we know of two murder suspects who were indicted this month. Albert Booz was charged with 15 charges in all, including felony murder and aggravated assault on a public safety officer. He's accused of killing Bibb Jail Deputy Christopher Knight back in April of 2021. The other is Passion Watkins, who allegedly killed her pregnant stepmother, Melanie Powers, in the spring of 2020. She's being held on a $200,000 bond. District Attorney Anita Reynolds Howard said she couldn't move forward with others because they were lacking key evidence. She laid that on the GBI and the Bibb Sheriff's Office. Some of the other murder suspects unaccounted for include Orlandez Bond, the man accused of killing Joshua Horn in West Macon in October of 2020. We asked Howard in early September if she was concerned about that 90-day deadline. Of course, that's always concerning, but what's more concerning to me is jeopardizing justice to rush to indict a case. Uh, that is not that is not fair to the victims. That is not fair to the defendants. And I do not believe that is what this community um, elected me to do. Hey, I reached out to the district attorney's office to try to get an update on those progress with indictments, specifically for the remaining six murder suspects who have not been indicted as of mid-September. So far, they have not responded. Frank, back to you. All right, thank you, Kayla. Earlier this month, Judge Howard Sims signed an emergency order putting jury trials on hold in Macon-Bibb County.